Yo, what's up guys, it's your boy Sami here. Today we are gonna see, what if Naruto were kidnapped by Kaguya, part 4. Hope you'll enjoy this video. So before we start please subscribe to our channel, and like this video. So let's get into the video. Konoha, Hokage Tower. The hawk from Taki, who is the least allied village, left a message that someone killed various shinobis of Taki, and hung them upside down under the giant tree, as if the killer left a symbol of a black sun. Even pictures of Naruto's complete susumu that were impossible to not notice. Who would do something so gruesome even by our standards? Minato asked Jiraiya. I don't know Minato, but my spy network told me that someone took their Jinchuriki and destroyed the whole village in less than a day. Maybe it was Kakuzu, Jiraiya said. If it were him then he should have taken their hearts intact. Maybe it was a rogue Uchiha, but not even Madara could make a Susanoo that big that surpasses the nine tails standing up, and the Susanoo was black not dark blue. By the way, who authorized the extermination of the majority of the Uchiha clan? Minato answered back. You did Minato. Jiraiya said since only he, Minato, Itachi, and the elders knew about the order, but he doesn't remember that he signed the order for Itachi to kill all of his clan, even the ones who weren't involved at all. He remembered when Kashina heard that Mikoto died, she made Minato sleep on the couch for a month. Narumi the less said the better. Didn't you hear that someone destroyed Hazuki Castle? Jiraiya asked his former student who did a comical face, that someone would destroy the most secure prison in all of the elementals nations like nothing. What of it? Minato asked him. My networks also found out that someone teleported there, killed everyone, even the warden, and destroyed the box of ultimate bliss. Jiraiya answered. Aside from that, when will I do the three-year journey with the Rashi and Menma? Jiraiya asked his former student. After the Chunin exam Jiraiya. Minato told him. And teach them right Jiraiya. More specifically everything you know aside from them controlling the Kyubi's chakra. If not, I will tell Tsunade and Shizun about what really happened to Nawaki and Dan. Minato said threateningly with his signature kunai in hand, as Jiraiya gulped, but smirked. Well you don't want Kashina to know what really was the cause of the Uzumaki clan that Hiruzen told you before becoming Hokage, wouldn't you be my former student? Jiraiya retorted at Minato smugly, as he left the office unknown to them, as a small bird heard the conversation, and poofed out. Suddenly, someone throws a bag at Jiraiya's balls. Which has been happening ever since the deaths of Naruto and Suzuki, and since the Rumi maid destroyed the organ that made Arashi, and Menma males that Sanadi healed them. But made them sterile, thus making Narumi the only one who would continue the legacy, as she disowned them, but kept the Uzumaki name, since she's a firm believer of the Uzumaki creed, also known as the will of the maelstrom, instead of the will of fire. Son of a bitch who keeps doing that Jiraiya yelled if it were one of the hidden Anbu in the office or root, since Danzo still uses them because they are a necessary evil for the betterment of Kanoha, when it was obvious that Danzo only cares about himself. And his own vision of Kanoha by being the sole ruler of the nations with an army of his Rutnin and Jinchurikus, since they had the feeling that he didn't want the Uchiha clan to help during the Kyubi's rampage. Which they doubt that the masked man was the real Madara Uchiha since Madara was mostly seen with his left eye, exposed not the right one. Meanwhile with Naruto. Naruto got the memories of his shadow clone that he transformed into a simple bird to be up to date on Kanoha, and heard an interesting conversation between Minato and Jiraiya of his actions from Taki and Kusa. He even made more to spend time with his informant Ino, because she is trustworthy, and actually wants to be strong on her own, Megan, Ino's mom, Yukumo, because he, and Suzuki saved her. And her mom from a fire caused accidentally by Ido, due to assassination attempts towards Yukumo, due to her potential of her bloodline, Yuroko, the Kanoka core. Saishimura, female Sai looking like Momoyeo Irozu, Shinshimura, Shikati, female Shikamaru who looks like Neko Robin, Chacho, Shino, female Shino looking like Suzumabachi from Bleach, Hinata, Hanabi, Tanishi, female Tanari, Flair Haruno, Mibuki, she is a widow, Yushino, Tenten. Her mom Chun Li, her aunt Kid Leia, Sum, Hana, Sango, female Kiba, Leah, Lee's sister, Nelly, female Niji, Tuchi, Aim, Anko, Kuranai, and his sister Narumi by using shadow clones, but his sister was acting weird when she was blowing his shadow clones ear. And nibbled it before it dispersed that Naruko and Kagaya were betting that Naruto will bang his sister when she gets older. Naruto was going to protest, but couldn't since his sister is too precious to him, plus he couldn't lie since she isn't her sister anymore, as he is Kagaya's son, along with Suzuki being her daughter, but being raised, as Shinobis made them have less of moral compass. As the group neared Tsuna, they saw a bandit camp near the border of the desert. How come you two can stand the heat? Fu complained since she didn't see Naruto and Suzuki sweating. The answer to that is that we are now pure-blooded with Suzuki, and we can withstand any weather easily, and we don't even need to breathe at all. Naruto explained to them sans Ada since she knew about Suzuki. So where is the Jinchuriki of Suna? Fu asks while drinking water from a canteen she brought. Kid is near. I can sense that she is near this very place. Strange that she is tranquil since she always tries to threaten her Jinchuriki to release her by making them an insomniac psychopath. 
Kitsumi said since Kid is too prideful and shorter tempered than her now that she is free from her seal. As they near the bandit camp, Naruto cracks his knuckles and Nexus start a killing spree until they see sand floating towards the bandits as each one was surrounded by sand into balls drenched with blood. Sand binding prison. Someone said, as all the bandits that were deaf due to someone made their hearts explode, so they wouldn't hear the sand moving, as they were crushed inside, while some had their heads sliced by the sound waves. One tried to escape, but was tied up with a jmin, and the girl mummified the bandit with a flaming orb. Naruto saw three girls, as one was a petite girl with maroon hair that went just a little past her shoulders, along with normally obscuring the right side of her face, blank sea green eyes with black rings around them. Her attire was a black and red battle skirt over her shirt that covered her low D-cup breasts, the she wore grey mesh armor that stopped above her midriff, red boots rather than sandals, and a large gourd on her back. The second one has straight chin length brown hair, dark eyes, fair skin, pair of C-cup breasts, fair ass, wearing a blue-green blouse that hung off her left shoulder, a white and pink sleeveless shirt underneath, a short yellow scarf tied around her neck, black short skirt, and her headband on the neck. The third one was peculiar, a fair-skinned girl, high D-cup breasts, and plump ass with blonde hair that is straight and reaches her thighs, which is mostly covered by the head of her jacket. She has a large bang that partially covers her forehead protector. Has grey eyes, which are accented by red markings, and she wears pink lipstick. Her attire consists of a dark red full bodysuit, which is worn under a lavender jacket with a large hood, as well as wearing headphones. Her hood and jacket are worn to protect her from dust clouds and the heat. She also wears black gloves and bandages around her ankles and right thigh. Way to ruin the fun don't you? Naruto shouted as it attracted the attention of the three Suna girls as Gaia commanded her sand to attack Naruto, but Naruto created iron sand to nearly cover Gaia's sand that retreated back into the gourd. A man with sandy blonde hair, fair skin, and violet eyes, which made him look somewhat feminine. He wears bandages around his head. As an Anbu, he dons the traditional uniform of the Suninin that includes a turban, the village's forehead protector, flak jacket, as well as a cloth that hides the lower half of his face, leaving only his eyes visible. This man is Yashimaru Sabaku, uncle of Gaia, Kankuro, and Tamari, and brother of the late Kuro Sabaku, and is the Jonin leader of the first five-man team of Sunagakur, consisting of himself, as the captain, Gaia, Misuri, Yodo, and Kid. Why did mother didn't kill them? Gaia said surprisingly. Mother? Since when is she a maternal figure? Kasumi said, which surprised her since Kid was too arrogant to be a maternal figure. I heard that. How did you make iron sand from thin air? Kid's voice was heard from under the sand as she emerged. Kid's human form has pale skin, short pink hair, dark red eyes, horns that resemble cat ears from certain angles, as these horns are a mixture of bone and cartilage. Wearing a pink shirt under a black dress. Has a red string bow, black and gray striped high knee socks, and black boots. Has a bandana on her head with Suna's symbol. How did you get out of the seal without her dying? Kasumi asked her brother while Naruto looked to Gaia's seal, while she blushed since this is the first person not including her brother and uncle to touch her. They the hell made this pathetic excuse of a seal who should be killed, take their liver to dip it in hot oil, and feed it to their family. Naruto said since he was an Uzumaki, sealing art is in their blood, and seeing this sorry excuse of a seal pissed him off. Chio. Misuri, and Yodo blankly stated. She only did a glorified storage seal, and gave Kida all the control, but I don't see her going crazy. Sorry for not introducing ourselves, as my name is Naruto Uzumaki. Naruto introduced himself, and so does the girls, Naruko, Kagaya his presence scared Kid, and even Satori who took the form of a well-dressed Muku, was the demon of the box of ultimate bliss, that Naruto freed from before destroying said box who sensed something familiar in Naruto. And rescuing Ryuzetsu. When Kid saw Kagaya he used Naruto's shadow clone transformed as her without her horns, the slit of her rin shuringen, and shorter hair that reached to her neck, as the Suna team thought she was a Hayuga, as Kid hit behind Yashimaru while trembling. What's with you Kid? Yashimaru asked the one tails in human form. I knew this day would come since I stopped having the bloodlust during full moons before Gaia was born all because of her. Kid said, scared, pointing at Kagaya. All I see is a harmless lady, and her lover. Yashimaru said with Kid giving him are you shitting me? face while Kagaya blushed at the statement. Harmless. You don't even know who she actually is, and good thing you aren't a censor since you would tremble and piss yourself at the amount of chakra she still has. Kid warned them. Can someone explain to me why Gaia is sane and absolutely beautiful because she has gotten her beauty sleep? Naruto said not noticing that Gaia had a nosebleed, while Kid noticed the resemblance on Naruto from someone he has met a very long time ago. That would be a sever since when we were kids we always saw Gaia alone, not even with her older siblings, since they had to wait until Rasa or Anbu wasn't spying on them. We were even shunned by almost everyone since they saw us, as out of place to do to our bloodlines, since I have sound style, and Misuri has scorched style like her mom Picur. 
Heck if it weren't for Kid and Kakura would be dead already due to Rasa, and the council finding ways to eliminate her. Yodo said to Naruto since Insana, the higher ups hate her, since she has the potential of becoming Kazukiage, but would never elect a female cage to lead, despite her and having an isolated life in the village, despite being loyal to it. Yodo is a descendant of Binpiku, something that Kid sensed in Yodo, but she hated on becoming a priest, since it's not her style. I understand that since Shinshuriki and tailed beasts are not weapons, but beings who have feelings and ambitions, but the question is how is Kid not rampaging now? Naruto told them, as Gaia was amazed that someone could relate to her while Kid rolled her eyes. Well it is because we met her before inside the seal. Misuri said since the group seems trustworthy, especially Naruto. Come again. Katsumi said this surprised her since Kid would never do that, unless she was threatening them too. Flashback a few years ago. Little Gaia was alone playing with sand in the park when a boy threw a ball near her, and tried to give it to the boy, but the sand on her gourd reacted violently, and scared the boy away, which saddened Gaia. Two particular girls got near her, and waved their hands to say hi to her, as Gaia was looking around, and pointed at herself, and they nodded. Do you wanna hang with us? Misuri asked Gaia who stood there, and cried, as they came near, but Gaia's sand didn't react. No, please don't come near me. Gaia shouted, as she shed tears while the two girls were near her unarmed. There, there, no need to cry. What's your name? Yudo asked Gaia while hugging her. Gaia. She answered back shyly since it was foreign to her to be hugged, that not even her family never hugged her, without the fear of being killed due to something. Inside the seal. I sent someone familiar to me. Keith said from inside the seal, as she made Gaia spit sleeping gas from her mouth. Outside the three girls suddenly become drowsy, as Keith cackles, as she will finally meet her jailer, and her new friends just to scare them. Where are we? Yudo asked, as they woke up on water, as it was endless, and saw little rock peaks, bigger than the girls, around a giant tanuki dog made out of sand, and strange marks that seemed like curse marks. Finally my jailer finally meets me eh? Oh look. She brought friends. Keith said towards Gaia, as Yodo recognized Keith from her mother's stories about her great grandpa Binpiku. You're the one-tailed sand raccoon. Yodo said pointing at Keith to face the fault of being called a raccoon. How dare you call me a raccoon? I am a tanuki you brat she shouted, as she tried to attack Yodo until he saw a giant flaming orb in front of both, as she saw Misuri controlling it. One more step, and you become pure crystal. Got it. Misuri told her with a voice of maturity, as Keed huffed, and went back to the rock formation since, even if she can be dead for a year, as being in crystal is like being the ten tails again. All you humans are the same with using our powers to just kill each other, ever since Ritu captured me when he ordered Suna priests, and sealed me in a teapot when I wanted to be alone. She shouted, as Gaia began to cry again. Then she looked at Yodo again, as he looked closely, not like a pervert, as she laughed again. I can't believe that the old man actually has a descendant. She said to Yodo. Me? Yodo asked. Yes you, as I can smell a bit of Binpuka within you. Keith said, as a rule from cages is that the Jinchuriki has to be someone from the same family, as the cage or a loyal friend, as Binpuka was the father of Ritu, which he disowned him for being her Jinchuriki. As race all documents of their relation, but tailed beasts always remember. It made sense, as she always wanted to learn sealing arts to incorporate it on music. But Suna has been low on funds ever since Kanoha, due to the current wind daimyo, have been accepting more missions with cheaper prices, because of Hiras and Siratobi. That technically somehow makes us family guy. Yodo said, as she looked at Yodo with a smile on her face, as Kid looked at her hands that formed two kanjis, accept, and heart, on the palms of his hands, and looked back at the three girls, because Binpiku was similar to the man that taught her. And her brethren, and she's not referring to Hagoromo. I wouldn't mess this up. Kid thought to herself. Then the flashback. So you guys are lucky to have each other, as I envied that before. He said, as he looked at Suzuki, Katsumi, Ada, Karen, Carla, Rin, and Fu, as he smiled. I even told them about her uncle tried to kill himself because Rasa ordered him to kill her, as he tried to separate her from her two best friends, that Gaia nearly snapped, and nearly left Keith gain control, but she didn't, and on that day, they waited the perfect moment to kill Rasa. And Chio especially the latter for making a mockery of a seal that she was made to do despite her lack of experience in sealing arts, as she was a puppet and poison expert that Yodo tried to fix her friend's seal, but in Uzumaki has the expertise to make fine sealing with ease. As she overheard from Gaia's older sister Tamari from Suna's spies that the last Uzumaki was Kashina Uzumaki, that despite the leaf being allies of Suna, they didn't want to suffer the wrath of the Red Death, after what she did to Kumo, Iwa, Kiri, and their own village on her own. As she is more dangerous than Minato Namek is, and the only one equally dangerous, as her was Makoto Ichiha also known as the Demonic Lightning Princess of the Sharingan, who was on the same scale as the Madara Ichiha. As she was the only Chiha so far to gain the eternal Manjiku Shuringen without changing her eyes, that could make even the Kairubi obey her with a mere glance without using it, and the ability to use hot pink lightning without hand seals. 
The good news was that he'd used her human form to knock some sense to Yashimaru to not kill himself, because he's the only relative aside from Yodo who isn't afraid of Gaia, and that Kurura is protecting Gaia with the sand of her gourd when Gaia was born. In that very moment, Yashimaru swore to love and protect Gaia like a real father. If you guys need refuge you can come with us the sooner. Yashimaru said, and Naruto accepted it. Sunagakur. As the group arrived at Suna they began to explore the village, as they arrived at Mitsuri's house where Gaia and you also live after they became best friends. Well Rin and Ada went towards Sunagakur's hospital, Kasumi went to see how they use puppets for combat. Oh Mitsuri I didn't know that you brought new friends, and a man that is quite the looker. A voice said coming from the kitchen, as the person came out to greet herself, as she stared at Naruto and couldn't leave her eyes out of him, though she confused him with the younger version of Madara Chiha, briefly due to having the hairstyle, and showing his left eye only. A woman fair-skinned with pupilless brown eyes. Green hair that is tied in a bun on top of her head with a hair needle running through it, and one short, and long strands of hair with orange tips framing each side of her face. Wearing an attire that consists of a sleeveless backless top, and short tight pants, with two lapels on the front, and the back. Wearing an obi around her waist, as well as purple arm warmers, which extend up to her shoulders, and has bandages around her tights and ankles. This is Bakura of the Scorch style, and hero of the Hidden Sand, but the council and Rasa fear her due to her potential in becoming the first female Kazakiage, who is not from the Sabaku clan. Bit news Bakura Naruto here will free me from Gaia's faulty seal, made by that bitch Chiyo. He told her which made her worried since containers, and Jinchuriki die when the tailed beast is forcefully extracted from them. Don't worry since I did the same thing with Fu over here, and had Fubuki safely extracted. Naruto said, as Fu greeted her while Fubuki who was floating, gave a two finger salute at her. How would you do that since extracting a tailed beast would cause their chakra to spike, and wouldn't people notice it? Takura said, as Naruto's eyes shifted into his new eternal magic Sharingan, that looks like the typical Uzumaki four seal symbols, or Reaper death seal, while Sasuke's has, an additional three pointed shuriken in the center of it, in which he'd have seen those designs somewhere. I can't remember it. Kamui, Naruto said, as she sucked everyone present and himself to his right eye. Naruto's new home dimension. Unlike a typical Kamui's dimension that Naruto, Naruko, and some Hakasumi share due to having the same ability. However, unlike Abido's, this one where it is shown to have the same atmosphere as Earth, but Naruto, Naruko, and Kasumi can manipulate the dimension at will. It even has a huge manner, imagine the Croft manner of the Survivor timeline, but bigger, and painted black, with the Uzumaki sword located at the front door, within the dimension that can also be sealable to any place. In order to do the extraction Keed has to be inside of Gaia again, since I need all of Keed inside, in order to not leave traces of him inside of her. Naruto explained, as Keed understood, and poofed inside of Gaia's mindscape in order to be fully extracted from her, as she transformed into her tailed beast form, that lacked her natural cursed marks, so that she would have temporary freedom. Naruto extracted Keed fully from Gaia's body, as Suzuki and Karen were using mystical palm jutsu to keep Gaia alive, until Naruto did what he was going to do, as he did with Fu. As red and blue fire, as energy appeared in Naruto's hands, as Keed gasped at what he was seeing. Is that what I think it is? Keed asked, shocked. Yes, it is my sister. Naruto knows the creation of all things. Tabuki answered, as Naruto created an exact copy of Keed's purified chakra, as Sasuke and Karen cancelled the jutsu they were doing, as the chakra went inside Gai, as she was breathing normally again. As she felt more tranquil with herself not that she hated having Keed inside her, but the new chakra feels like it is her own, and also felt more powerful like she was absorbing nature into herself. I finally feel normal without having nothing to hold me back. No offense Keed. Gaia said. And taken since this is the first time in more than 50 years to have real freedom. Keed answered with no ill will towards her since she gained his respect and trust. What the fuck was that? Takura asked when Naruto made a copy of Keed's chakra. That Takura was the creation of all things. It is simple, but very powerful that the user can create anything they can imagine and breathe life into it, as it was the same jutsu that created us from the chakra of Datara the Ten Tails and even the sacred tools of Kumo, which were originally from the Uzumaki clan. The user needs to know Yin Yang's style in order to do the jutsu to its full capacity. Keed explained to them, as they were amazed that Naruto knows the same jutsu used by the Sage of Six Paths. Wait a second if you know the jutsu why not use it to revive Kagai then? Keed asked, as he paused, as Kagai and Naruko shook their heads. Because she needs her original chakra that we still have. Fubuki answered bluntly, since Kasumi's chakra is new, as Rashi, and Memus still has her original one, as she told Boset, as well. There is something that I need to do that will make Gai happier. Naruto said, as he used creation of all things again, as he created a human being, and by the looks of it showing the form of a woman that has shoulder length sandy brown hair that framed her kind looking face. And indigo colored eyes. Wearing a simple outfit along with a long, light yellow scarf draped loosely round her neck. 
The woman opened her eyes, and Gaia the face of Gaia, as she went closer to her, and hugged her. Gaia is it actually you? Kurura asked her youngest daughter, as Gaia began to cry in joy for seeing her mother since her birth, which was 17 years ago. Mom? Kid was right, you were always protecting me with my sand. Gaia asked her, as Kurura smiled at seeing her biological mother alive. Welcome Kurura to the land of the living again. Naruto said to her. Gaia is this your boyfriend? When can I expect grandchildren to spoil? Kurura asked her which made her blush. Mom, you are alive for less than 10 minutes. Gaia stuttered since it was unexpected. As they finished Naruto took them out of his dimension, and back to Kakura's house, as Kid was keeping Kurura up to date and boy she was pissed that Rasa ordered Chunin, Jonin, Anbu, and even her own brother on trying to kill Gaia, because Rasa thought she was a failed experiment. I was glad that Kid managed to persuade Yashimaru to not kill himself, since Kurura would never want to that to him. Later after that Naruto went on a date with Gaia in a classy restaurant of Suna, as people present were looking at them, and prayed for the man if he dies in the hands of Gaia, since they still think she is still Kid's container, but Naruto. And Gaia ignored them while Rasa was there spying on them, but Naruto sensed Rasa's color intent towards him, as he unleashed his own which scared the men, and aroused the woman. I know you are there Rasa, and get the hell out of here. Naruto yelled at the disguised Kazuki Ij, while Gaia made an orgasm face in front of him, and it embarrassed her, since it was her first consensual date with a man. Tsuna Kazuki Ij's office. We see the fourth Kazuki Ij Rasa Sabaku, user of the gold dust talking with the missing nin created by a certain warhawk, Benzaitner better known by her male alias Arachimaru, and her right hand girl Gurin of the crystal style. As they were planning to invade the leaf during the Chunin exams with Gaia, and Kid, as the secret weapons during the third round of the exams. Unknown to them, as Naruto was hovering invisible outside by the window, as he heard the conversation, and smiled evilly. Interesting. Naruto said while smirking, as he explained to his group now dubbed Black Sun with Naogai, Misuri, and Yodo joining, as they heard about Benzaiten's plan to invade Kanoha. As Sasuke saw the gleam in his eyes that sent her shivers, and then she feels arousal, while inside Naruto's former seal Kagaya, and Uriko are seen masturbating again, as she felt Naruto's true power, while Satori was muttering that his new summoner is a lucky bastard. Inside Naruto. Fucking yes. I want him inside now. I need that hard rot on all my holes pronto. She shouted, as she had a dildo on her pussy with one hand fondling her breast to climax, as she cum on the water of the pond. Inside the Kazukiji's office. Really Benny? You started a plan without me. Naruto said, shocking the ones in the office, as they see Naruto with Gaia tightly holding his right arm, while Kankuro and Baki were shocked that Gaia found a boy without murdering them. As Kankuro fainted while Tamari sensually licked her lips, as Gaia gave her a glare of this is my man now, and you must worship your new god. Rasa remained neutral with Gaia, and Keith, since having them both would make the village look strong, when having a perfect Jinchuriki at their disposal, but feared that they would leave the village, due to the assassination attempts he ordered towards her, and judging by her movements. She looks stable, and more powerful without having Keith inside of her. Naruto's group made their presence in the reunion, as Benzaiten and Gurin began to make out with Naruto, while Gaia glared at Rasa using killer intent. Arachimaru is a woman. Everyone, sans Naruto, Satsuki, Kasumi, and Gurin, thought at the same time. Gaia. Rasa said neutrally to her. Kazuki Ichisama. Gaia answered coldly back at him, since her love for him was destroyed during her birth, when he ordered to have Kid sealed inside of her during premature birth, while Kid had her arms crossed. And they say that I'm a monster. Kid murmured. Oh, and Kazuki Ij I brought you something, as well. Naruto said cackling, as he showed a box containing the head of Ikra. Why did you kill him? Rasa was shocked due to Naruto killing an advisor. Naruto used a bit of natural energy on his hand to attract something from Ikra's brain, such as a small metal needle that Naruto was holding, but he quickly melted it. I sensed that he was a sleeper agent. Naruto answered. I knew something was suspicious of that guy, as he had memory concealing manipulative Sanjutsu needle on his brain, and I know only three people who ever used it before. Chio, Iroh the third Kazuki Ij, and the guy that killed him known as Sasori. Kid said while Benzaiten stood quiet. But why did Sasori need a sleeper agent? Tamari asked Kid. Because of her. As there is an organization with the objective of collecting tailed beasts, in order to create a super weapon for world peace. Benzaiten said, pointing at Kid. You don't mean. Kid yelled. Yes because I was a member of the Akatsuki in order to gain protection from hunters, and a body of an Ichiha with a Sharingan to gain more knowledge, but realized that he was damaged goods both physically. And mentally retarded of following orders to a T that I have seen the supposed weapon made of wood with nine closed eyes. And Zayden said, as she looked at Satsuki if she got angry at the indirect mention of Itachi, but all she had was a calmed face while Keith screamed, as she began to hyperventilate. No. No. How can it be on the planet, and not on the moon anymore? 
Kid yelled frantically, as sand was forming to make a sandstorm inside the office, until Naruto touched her on the forehead to calm him down, because Naruto energy was familiar to her somehow. What the fuck she is talking about? Gurren inquired. You guys think that I'm dangerous when you have never seen a true monster in action that can turn a single planet into a lifeless wasteland in mere minutes. Kid said, which truly scared Rasa. Wait a minute, is there such a thing more powerful than the Nine Tails? Tamari asked, as he nodded. Yes. Kid simply said while glancing at Kagaya who shrugged. Having that aside, what is the plan that you're referring to? Naruto asked Benzayton. I'm planning to invade Konoha with Suna as our allies and kill Harizen for not making me the Yandain Hokage. Benzayton said while most had a really face. All of this just to kill Harizen Saratobi Rasa yelled angrily. Well since he and Danzo were the ones who ordered Rutnian to contaminate your village's water supply despite being your allies then yes. Benzayton answered back until Rasa looked back at Kid. Wait a minute. Why did you explain about a beast more powerful than the Nine Tails now? Rasa asked the San Tanuki in human form. Because it's the only truth you will ever hear from me before you die. Kid said laughing crazily at Rasa who was confused at the statement that he didn't notice the presence of someone behind him. When suddenly Gaia uses cursed seals of Kid to seal Rasa's movements, as she kills him with a kunai made of iron sand that made him fall on the floor nearly lifeless. That's for ruining our lives, killing mom, ordering my uncle to try to kill me, nearly selling out Pekur, and that we're not your weapon. Gaia shouted at him, as she cut Rasa's head, as she finally killed the man that ruined her life, as Naruto pulled out a truth-seeking ore to pierce Rasa's corpse into ashes. Like I was saying that the plan won't work if Minato is present, as he can use his flying thunder god, and that he is also a Fujutsu master, but not superior to mine, and you don't need the first two Hokages to kill Hirzen, since he will use that technique to seal them. And since Hirzen is way past his prime, he would possibly seal your armed soul fragments instead with it. If you have seen what technique Minato used to split and seal the Nine Tails. Naruto explained to Benzaiden who gulped while glancing at Kitsumi. Times to two hours later Pekur's house. What do you propose then since you are already in Odo along with Suzuki and Kasumi for what you did in Taki and Kusa? She asked him and he smiled at her. We use the invasion as a distraction and take the good people who are worthy in my eyes out of the village. Naruto answered, as Naruto made his six paths chakra cloak, and began making out with Benzaiden, that even with the white setsu body she managed to acquire, that included the facility of transforming into anyone by mere touch, and even use wood style, but not in the same potency. And the power to calm tailed beasts, and the life force that oozes from Naruto that even him touching her, she would turn into a tree. So with her knowledge, and Naruto usage of yin yang style, he used creation of all things to give Benzaiden a proper body, as she did living corpse reincarnation for the last time to a body that grants her senjutsu to greater heights than from the snakes and toads. And even gave her the Manjiku Sharingan that won't blind her to help her with her quest for knowledge during her immortal life. However, she can't transform into a giant white snake nor switch bodies, but the advantages surpasses the disadvantages, as she only used white snake form to switch bodies. Naruko and Kagaya kept watching the makeout session after Naruto changed back, as Suzuki, Kasumi, Fu, Ada, Karen, Gaia, Misuri, Yudo, and even Gurren invited themselves, as he prepared shadow clones to not make them feel out since he has a huge heart. And that he is possibly the last living male Uzumaki with an intact reproductive organ that can make sperm on the planet. Meanwhile Pekur was staring at the makeout session and the loads that Naruto was giving them. As outside of Mitsuri's room that her daughter shares with Gaia and Yodo, as she was blushing a storm even with a stone face. And fingering herself because her husband died on a mission when he was escorting Rasa when some missing Nin of Kumo ambushed them. Just by seeing Naruto with all these girls, and even Benzayt and she got jealous of the love she is seeing. Feeling jealous that you aren't there with Pekur. Keed said smugly while lightly scaring her. Oh it's just you, Keed. Pekur said to her despite being a tailed beast that she thought are mindless beasts of power. But she was grateful that he with help of Gaia who was a bit younger, saved her from leaving the village from a peace treaty with Kiri, when it was actually a trap meant for her to be killed, when Keed saw the file in Andrew. Thus she was forever grateful for the San Tanuki, even if she has to stay in the village that had tried to backstab her, and would leave Mitsuri and Yodo as orphans, as they need to be strong enough to leave this forsaken village, and she laughed that Gaia killed Rasa. And that Gaia isn't a Jinchuriki anymore. You, and I know that this village will never accept Pekur, as they only treat us, as nothing, but tools, and weapons. He'd said calmly despite that, she had hatred against her sister Kasumi, for always bragging about being more powerful for having the most tales that she grew resentful, which caused a rift, that bit their asses, with their brethren that they left her in the mercy of Nadara Chiha. As Hashirama started to hunt down his siblings even Cathal who was the second strongest with Keed actually being third, due to also using her natural curse markings. 
years of being contained until Shaman the Nide Mizukic started to improve Suna by using the terrain, poisons, puppetry, and trying to use Keed's powers for greed, with the excuse of for the betterment of the village. Then Karera came along the conversation while drinking tea calmly. You fear for her life, as well as Pekur, and thank you for being there for Gaia, as well that she even found real love, even if she has to share other girls with Naruto-kun. Naruto-kun, Kuro. Are you gaining a crush on Naruto, as well? Keed grinned at her, as she blushed. At least let me wait a few years or so. Kuro said, as Keed giggled while Gaia smiled at her sleep. At Pekur's home, Gaia was worried despite that she killed Rasa, as she asked herself where do they go since if they find out that she killed Rasa the village would rampant, and kill her, despite them still think that she is still a Jinchuriki. So Baki became the god in Kazakiage because Gaia would not become the leader of the very village that nearly made her into a monster, and would backstab their own heroes or even forgive her own father, by nearly turning her into the village's weapon or having an awful hairstyle. In the Prime Universe, Gaara suddenly sneezed, as someone was offending him while he was doing paperwork while Shikaku inside his kettle was helping him. She was one of the lucky ones since Naruto until he learned to use the adamantine ceiling chains on his own at 3, and Fu didn't have a type of defense without using a side of flying or Fubuki's chakra, and told her that they were raped in their own villages, thought it was worse to Naruto, since he formerly contained Katsumi's soul, as he cried in his own room alone at night ever since he could walk. In which Kasumi despite hating humanity for hunting them down into weapons or cattle to be sold to, especially when it was a descendant of the man who saved them from Indra the first time in the name of peace. And had to console him since he reawakened her maternal instincts when the first words he told her was thank you mom, as he fell asleep on her head, and ignored the fact that he awoke a Manjiku Sharingan that is exactly like Indra's. But ignored it that even having them he would never use it against her, and that Naruto called her mom, which made her happy that he doesn't hate her, despite that she doesn't have most of her chakra. You will do great things, and I love you Naruto. Kasumi said, as Naruto smiled in his sleep despite that he has a Sura's chakra, as that would be stupid to hate someone who is also the victim. Still Satsuki, after the time skip Satsuki has double H cup breasts, went to therapy cope the loss of her clan till near extinction, as her mom was also spared, but had to act to not attract attention, especially from the higher ups. And she needed to focus on something else instead of thinking to kill Itachi, like being there for Naruto despite losing her clan, saying that Naruto doesn't her pain, but she has seen Naruto being beaten up, and raped. As she couldn't help him because they would do the same to her for being an Ichiha that her hatred was massive like Naruto, that it developed a dark half that she named Jolter, Wicked Dragon Witch for her. Shinjuku 1999, who is a woman with pale complexion, half cup breasts, yellow eyes and cut short white blonde hair who is stern and cruel towards mostly everyone except for those she can trust, as they think that being shinobis is about being good, which is wrong. However when she has seen Naruto from Suzuki's eyes, she sees someone who knows the cruel truth of life, and that she secretly lusts him, something that only Zero knew, as they had to suppress their chakra and emotions in order to not get noticed by Katsumi. However, after the massacre she somehow attracted the Zero Tails, as it entered into Satsuki, thus becoming her Jinchuriki, as she reminded her of a Sural Satsuki, as the man held inner hatred towards his father. She gains the appearance of a curvy woman of average height, and G-cup breasts, she has dark blue hair and a Curtison hairstyle, but with her forelocks parted over her right eye. She wears a rather sultry red kimono with a splotch pattern, a brown belt with gold arrows pointing in opposite directions, a butterfly-style choker, and a white silk scarf that floats around her in the shape of a heart. To the right of her head, she wears two flowers, one red, and one white, with gold ornaments, while on her left are three gold beads. Additionally, she has a pair of gauntlets, and goes around barefoot, Kuranai Kijetsu from Eden Zero. She met the pseudo-tailed beast when she was looking at a reflection in the pond, as her reflection shifted into Itachi, as she senselessly tried to punch it, as she fell into the pond, as Zero told her to find the person with the most hatred, and train with them as they would help her achieve her goal of avenging her clan, and live her life like she wants that even her darkness agreed with the Zero Tales, not knowing that they will also get what they truly yearn. Even Kasumi had to go to therapy along with Naruto, due to always bottling up her emotions like Naruto does that the only one who was brave enough to help those three was Megan Yamanaka, who is Ino's mom. As Kasumi tried to alter the name since she doesn't want Megan to know that she was part of Kagayo Suzuki, but Megan told her to be completely honest, since she said that she isn't human at all, as Megan is a Martian by the name Ganmores. And even took an interest at Naruto since Ino has been telling her that she also likes Naruto, because unlike his brothers has a pure heart despite the darkness he has. Surprisingly Kasumi was a lot calmer, as if all the hatred she had bottled up for 3000 years of being alive were gone. Sure she can get angry, annoyed or hate, but she isn't blinded by all that hatred she had before. These events are what cemented Naruto to give up his humanity, as the first given opportunity, meeting Kagai, as the years go by seeing people of the very village that is pathetic man-child, and racist brother of ancestors disregarding family. 
and trust just to become the most powerful village in the nations that it made him curse the pathetic excuse of Hagoromo Tsutsuki. If I see Hagoromo I would rip out his penis, and shove up his ass in front of his children, and use, a shadow clone to pluck his Byakugan Rinnegan at the same time with a spoon, and force fed him his own eyes, and telling him that he wishes to destroy the planet while leaving it dry. As a hollow husk void of life for messing our lives for a fucking prophecy, and his pathetic ninja. Naruto said to himself, though he prefers to rule it to shove it in the people who wronged him in their faces. To Gaia Sabaku, she was born prematurely to become a weapon, and the front line of Suna's defenses without her, and, as always Keed's consent. She has killed in self-defense, as the first time she went into her mindscape with Misuri, and Yodo she saw her mother Kurur, and looked in shame for killing people like Rasa wanted. But her mother told her no matter what path she chooses she will be always proud of her, even if she has seen Gaia making out with Misuri, and Yodo, as Keed in her real form watched the scene, as it reminded her of the first person that taught her, and her siblings. And even love them for who they are, as the man saved them from a parasite who wanted their powers, as the man saved their lives in exchange of his own life, but swore that he will return before the Shinigami ate his soul. After meeting Naruto and Sasuke, they swore will help them destroy the Shinobi system, the same system that nearly made her into a monster, as she wanted Dips to kill the Wind Daimyo. But Naruto told her that he framed the Warhawks Fuktoys do the dirty work, by having a Shadow Clone disguise, as one of the Daimyo Samurai in this very moment, while leaving a root mass to frame Danzo, as the clone did the job, and dispersed, as Naruto got the memory Anfus bump guy. As in that moment she felt happy, and blew his chakra rod that made Misuri and Yodo jealous, as Kuro blushed since she told the three of the birds, and the bees, as Kid used her sand for physical demonstration, as it was enticing, but weird. Naruto was in bliss, as Gaia gave him one of the best blowjobs to his 18 inches penis, as Sasuke was fingering herself because Gaia sucking up to the base without gagging, which impressed Samari while Kankuro that he took a photo. As blackmail while Gaia showed while giving Naruto blowjob her copies of Kankuro's using Tamari's makeup. I knew it was you. Tamari shouted while hitting Kankuro with her mom's war fan, as she was chasing him. Women always love men with power, and good personalities. Sasuke said with pride, as despite that, Naruto is stronger than she is, but he has been teaching her how to master 6 path sage mode, that they earned their respective marking they lacked before such, as yin power for Naruto. And yang power for Sasuke, as she knows that she can defend herself, but she always feels safe with Naruto. Meanwhile, Benzaiden and Gurren went back to Odo to prepare for the Chunin exams to appear legit, as both women kissed Naruto, as they left. After she left the Akatsuki, she has sneaked a few times into Kanoha courtesy of Danzo, as she has seen Naruto and Satsuki sparring while holding back, despite that they sensed her, as she was going to find Anko to get rid of her cursed mark. But realized that she actually got rid of it before she switched into her new body, and even tried to summon Manta, but the snake she summoned told her that Manta was killed by someone, as it couldn't be Garaganori Oda since the former. As aggressive he may be would never stoop low to kill a fellow member, no matter how boastful or malicious, as Manda was. While Naruko was finally happy to have her own body, as she can be with her Naruto-kun, as Tamari, Kankuro, Yashimaru, Kakura, Maki, Misuri, Sari, Yukata, Gaia and Yoda were sealing their stuff in scrolls, as Naruto sent the stuff into their personal dimension. As Naruto marked the girls during his sessions with a mark that looked like a kitsune inside a black sun. The mark has the flying thunder god seal in it, as Naruto and Kasumi created the mark so they can locate them, and teleport to them when they add chakra to the mark or in serious danger, serves as a locator seal for others possessing the kitsune marks, and gives them access to Naruto's dimension. Especially when a girl has this mark they belong to me, and only me, as no other man is allowed to have sex with you except for me, even if they try they die gruesomely. Naruto said to the girls, as Sasuke and the rest of the girls understood. Naruto's dimension. As the group saw the huge manner that Naruto created, as their main home that he can control like his mindscape, and with help of Kagaya, they created a special training room they can manipulate the time like a pocket dimension at will. For example, they can make it a year while outside the pocket dimension it only passed a day, meaning that could learn everything they want without distractions. As Benzaiten was having an orgasm to learn the secrets of Chakra from Kagaya that she cried in happiness, that she doesn't have to betray her real friend's harem sisters. As the group felt relaxed, and at the same time they can train here without unnecessary distractions, and holding back. Even Naruto looked like a mini version of Madara Chiha in teen form, except having his hair that reaches his back, while Sasuke looks like Makoto in teen form, but with double H cup breasts, and plump ass that he loves to put his face into. When the girls saw Naruto and Sasuke sparring, they were amazed that it made Madara and Hashirama's battle look like child's play, since both were sparring against the super-sized Kasumi in her fox form with majestic attire. Susanoo that nearly reached the size of an adult ten tails in seed form. 
and since Kasumi is also an emotion sensor, as she can sense where would Naruto and Suzuki attack and evade them, as she was focused and not controlled by a Sharingan, but Kasumi knew that Naruto and Suzuki are the most unpredictable couple on the planet. As the girls saw them use the Byakugan with ease, as Kagaya taught them since they are her new children now, even if she wants to plow Naruto, as he told her to wait later after they finished sparring, as he wanted the sex with Suzuki, Kasumi, and Naruko to be special. As they already had sex with Naruto before. They saw Kasumi use fire style. Great fire annihilation at them, as they went straight on, as they absorbed the fire like nothing since they can absorb chakra and nature energy instantly, as Kasumi only saw Suzuki in front of her meaning used Shumpo to sneak on her. As he surprised her by using 80 gods vacuum attack with help from his Byakugan, as it was too fast for her to evade or escape. Wow, I didn't know that these three have the Byakugan as well. Satori said, as Naruko showed hers as well. Meanwhile at Kanoha. Hiroto Haike had a heart attack because he felt that the demon boy and Achiha bitch had the Byakugan while not noticing that there was a transmission seeds on his footwear, as Flair was hearing the agony of the former Haike clan head. His near lack of heartbeat is music to my ears, wouldn't you say so Naruto-kun? Flair asked the wood clone transformed, as Naruto nodded, as it was eating her pussy, while two more were showing his 18-inch third leg. As she gave them hand jobs, not caring that another roommate named Satenshiel Suzuki, who is an extremely beautiful young female of pale skin, DDD cup breasts, and small frame. She is gifted with thin, white eyebrows, and thick superlative white eyelashes surrounding round Tensigan eyes that are the very eyes of Humaru Suzuki, who is known as the second sage of six paths of Earth, and the first man on the second moon. Her hair, which covers her forehead, leaving only several portions visible, is kept in a messy standard, moving to the center of her face. A pack of hair falls directly to her small nose, in between her eyes. She possesses a small neck and thin lips, as well as ears that are hidden under her white hair. Next to her is Yukino who is a slender, well-endowed young woman with short light blue hair and fringes framing her face. Wearing a blue rose ornament on the left side of her head. Wearing a more casual attire, which consists of a plain light teal tank top that covers her DD cup breasts, with black straps, and a plain dark teal miniskirt. What the other girls don't know is that Yukino is actually Himura's will ever since her creator died at the age of 400, due to the usage of Six Paths Chakra, as it is toxic to humans even hybrids the more they use it. In regret, as he told him to wait for a worthy Suzuki to give them his eyes, and usher a new version of the clan, and to find the true transmigrants of his brother's children. So Yukino waited in the shadows, as the branch side of the clan started to rebel each other, until she saw a man with red hair, and two women, as one had black hair, and the second with dark blue hair, along with the parasite known as Black Setsu, in his real malleable form at the center of the moon. As three humans hugged the statue while calling Kagaya cousin, which confused Black Setsu since the man named Saku Uzumaki who has the Rinnegan of Hagoromo, and the black-haired woman named Amaterasu Uzumaki, Ni Chiha, who has the EMS, and Sukuomi Uzumaki, Ni Haika, who has the Tensigan. And dead bone pulse were missing Kagaya despite that said woman nearly caused genocide to the land of the ancestors, as the rest of the people of the clan thought that Kagaya was a heartless shallow bitch that doesn't care about humanity, how wrong they were. As it was weird that Black Setsu said that Sokka couldn't summon Kagaya's physical body because he lacks Hagoromo's chakra. They were trying to find Naruto and Hinata since Atenshi, and Yukino wanted to force them with them to repopulate the clan, but had to wait for them to see if they were worthy since Naruto and Suzuki despise with the passion fangirls, as well as Minato, Arashi, Menma, Jiraiya, Hiruzen, Kaher, Hamur, and Danzo since the Warhawk wants Tensigan users for his route, but the only thing he always gets from them is his ass being handed to him. Why do some of the most powerful ones have to be perverts? Satenshi asked blandly since they are accustomed to flare during her sexual fantasies about Naruto, since the man is worthy to bear their children. It's like a rule of life, as the strongest are the ones to rule all Satenshi. Yukino said that was true, as she was reading the history of the hidden villages. Outside of the condominium that Flair owns along with her friends, even Nakoto and Akeno live there, that is near the Senju compound, as Jureya was trying to spy on the girls, as always, but, as he looked in his binoculars to write his art that his pure smut he was shot in both eyes. As he fell on the ground dead. Fucking bastard spying again on my harem sisters, but, as always the pervert never learn his lessons. Sai said wearing hunting clothes while counting that is the 69th time that he has spied on them, as she got a hobby with her brother of sometimes killing Jiraiya, and drawing him back, while retaining the memories of him dying, because she fucking can, as she winked at the readers. Back with the group. Kagaya changed her clothing into something more casual, as she is wearing a light purple short sleeve jacket, as she wasn't wearing a bra, since it makes her M-cup breasts uncomfortable, as she uses seals to make them look smaller in public. And Naruto likes it when she jiggles her chest with a long-sleeved white shirt underneath, light brown shorts that cover her plump ass, and purple open-toed boots, since the robes are too old-fashioned for her now, along with hiding her horns. 
She even made her hair shorter that reaches her hips, as her old length was always hard to brush, and honestly creepy, even if it is prehensile, and useful for combat. As the people present were watching a sparring match between Naruto, Suzuki, and Kasumi, as the three of were wearing Susanoo armor mode, which is a smaller version, and less straining version that is faster than the mecha size version. As hers is a light blue color with white wings, while Kasumi's is gold colored, which is surprising since Kasumi and her sisters came from Kagaya and Carrot, as Kasumi gained her own chakra, as she gained the Tomod Rinnegan like Naruto, Naruko, and Suzuki. Suzuki tried using wood style ever since she found out that she was part Senju Uzumaki, and learned quickly since she used Madara's memories, and found out something surprisingly about her ancestor, that she was giggling to not tell Naruto yet, as she tried to suppress Kasumi with wood style. And expected for Kasumi was covered in gold Susanoo armor to fall asleep, as they waited for a few minutes, as she Satori checked his watch, as Naruto figured out that Kasumi gained immunity by learning Fuenjutsu to create a seal, so that the Shuringen Jinjutsu would style nor the adamantine ceiling chains don't affect her and her sisters. She made a crater in her shape and expected to be pissed, but saw her laughing that she never had fun in centuries ever since Sokka, Amaterasu, and Tsukiyomi Uzumaki when they were alive. You know this reminds me of Sokka, Amaterasu, and Tsukiyomi back then when we were spared. Kasumi said, as Kid, Boset, and Fubuki gasped that she remembered those names. Inside Kasumi. The Reaper seal glows, as the woman inside saw the wooden cage destroyed after Kasumi said those three familiar names, as she became pure energy, as Kasumi was feeling weird, as she fell on the floor right side up since the Shinigami inside the mindscape while Kasumi was sleeping. As she destroyed the seal. Something came out from Kasumi revealing a young looking woman dressed in a red battle kimono with black hair, amber golden eyes, and nine white tails flowing behind her. Three red whisker marks adorn her cheeks, similar to the ones Naruto had only more pronounced. They had to stop the sparring, as the roots receded into the ground, as the woman dusts herself while licking her lips at Naruto. Thanks for watching my video, leave a like if you enjoyed my video, and also do consider subscribing to my channel for more awesome content. See you next time, till then sayonara.